Hey everyone, welcome to a behind the scenes look at the McLaren GPU animation that recently created at RenderSpaz. Um, just want to show you guys a brief look within inside the scene and how it was created, give you some insights, and uh, yeah, just give you a look around and show you how it was all kind of done. Um, I first started off with uh, getting myself a high poly uh, 3D model. I didn't model this one myself. Uh, this was one actually provided by uh, Squire. And uh, what I've done was I set up some uh, materials for this car, um, worked on the tires, uh, did some uh, rubber work, make it look a little bit worn down, uh, did the car paint myself. Everything, all the materials were done myself. And also if you need uh, help on uh, car materials, we do have a free um, product on the website um, creating uh, realistic car materials in V-Ray. Uh, you can get that at the premium section of this website or of www.renderspaz.com. So uh, head over there if you don't have it and uh, you can uh, have a look in there and uh, you can pretty much create exactly this kind of quality of materials uh, for your cars or whatever it may be. Um, so let's get to this. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit around the scene and, um, and have a look here. So what we've done was we've created, I'm going to go to the top view really quick on this side. Um, what we've done was uh, we've created a pretty much a half circle or a cylinder uh, which, which was then uh, curved. Uh, we cut it in half and we add some turbo smooth and that gave us our background and I took two of them and placed them together here, okay? Um, from there that gives us the white background that we see here and then uh, there's this ground here that has a fall off that I just wanted to have a different um, I didn't want the background here uh, to be glossy. I just wanted the floor to be to be glossy uh, and nothing else. And then from there, uh, what I've done was I made these guys uh, not visible. Okay, so in the object properties, I went in there. Um, where is it here? I gotta go to general and uh, made sure that it wasn't visible in the reflections uh, active uh, or I took the receive shadows out and cast shadows, okay, uh, made sure those weren't uh, on. I just wanted this to pretty much be in the background and that was it, okay. Everything else was controlled by the V-Ray dome light, which from there I've um, come down here, I made it invisible, okay, and then I have an HDR plugged into it. So if I go to my material uh, editor here, we have it, um, the studio HDR that we use here, okay? Um, I took that and just mapped it into um, the texture slot here. I made sure that my resolution was quite high. So that gave me the um, these kind of striped looks. And uh, you see the kind of stripes, but the, you can see that this is pretty much what it is. It's just a bunch of panels, light panels uh, in the HDR here, okay? So that's pretty much it. That's what lights the scene. Okay, uh, and then I let the GPU take care of the rest. For GPU settings, um, go to render setup here, and you can see now uh, trace depth, I actually put it at 24 um, using the CUDA, okay, the GPU. Um, actually, I'm not resizing any textures, and uh, see what else here. Make sure I take my warnings off, I don't want those in the render. Um, other than that, that's it. There's really nothing to it. Everything else is kind of cancelled out at this point. Uh, because we're just running the GPU. The only thing else is the color mapping has been changed a bit. I'm just using the Reinhard um, Gamma 2.2. Okay, and I clamp uh, the outputs and subpixel mapping. Make sure that's ticked on. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, after that, everything is rendered out. And, uh, Let's go around to one of our shots here, and I'll show you how the cameras were set up. We got one over here that's really good. Go to here. Okay, this will switch up. You should see a refresh. I don't know if it's, there it is. A little bit. Okay, so this shot here, uh, a lot of uh, depth of field. Okay, and we uh, what we've done here in the uh, camera, which is this camera 12, 
I got a lot of cameras in the sea. Twelve. Well, actually, might have to set up here. So I'm gonna grab it from the list. Come down to the physical camera. And you can see I've used um, focal length was at a hundred, something like this. This will give you a really nice close-up of the uh, the front end. And what happens is uh, because you get a long lens. Um, we got our shutter pretty high, and uh, what I've done was at uh, the f-stop at 1.5, and then once you tick on your depth of field, okay, you can see um, you get a, a really nice result, okay. That's focusing on the uh, I believe at this point in the shot, it's it's near the uh, mirror here. All right, so everything else, I uh, got neutral white balance. So that's pretty much it. There's not really too much to the shot, and then that's where I control the uh, focus. All right, I gotta animate all that. Um, so you can see I got the animations going from, this is pretty much going from zero to 200. That's a lot of frames there. And then uh, we do control our top view here. We can control where our depth is, okay, for our focus, focus point. Um, and our focus distance, and we have to animate that in order for us to move the focusing around for the depth of field to work properly. All right, so if we go to our perspective mode, let's get a quick look here at the scene. But, uh, there we go. Okay, you can see there's. go you see it's pretty straightforward right it's just all in the camera work um, that's where you get your depth of field and everything is applied uh, and then pretty much go into post work and uh, start working with the shot itself and doing some enhancements there uh, doing some uh, taking care of some of the noise that's been left over and this were these were these frames came out at, uh, at 44 frames a set uh, 44 44 seconds a frame, um, and that, that was pretty much it. So that's uh, that's pretty much how this scene went, guys. Uh, for anyone interested in wanting to know how it all went down, and um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys learned something from that, and uh, stay tuned for more videos, and uh, check out more tutorials at www.renderspass.com. See you later, guys.